There you go, it's alright. They got according to the scripture, we form the seed of our fathers, yeah? Our father has the seed. So if your father is from any of these tribes, blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, then you're more likely to be our people. And we'll talk to you. Descendants of Abraham. 95% of all descendants of Abraham. Give me Romans 9 and 7. Oh, we're, we're, we're sure the yeah. Yeah. No, it's new. Romans 9 and 7. Romans 9 and 13. No, 7. Romans chapter 9, verse 7. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham. They're saying, not because we are all the seed of Abraham. Are they all children? Each, but in Isaac shall thy seed be called. So in Isaac shall thy seed be called. So which child did Isaac have? Okay. Jacob. Yeah, Jacob. Is that twelve tribes? Okay. So that's it. Isaac shall thy seed be called. So all the children of Jacob, the ones that were called, the twelve tribes. Do you call anybody else? So in Romans, what's what? Nine and seven. Nine. Romans chapter nine, verse seven. So before Romans chapter nine. Before Romans chapter 9, it's Romans chapter 3. And what is Romans chapter 3 about? What's Romans chapter 3 about, guys? What's Romans chapter 3 about? It talks about the blessings that Israel will get. In Romans chapter 3, what's Romans chapter 3 about? It's about the Israel. That's where we get it from. I'll show you. Do you know about the Israel? Let me show you. He's quoting 9, but he's got to go before 9, which is. For more information, we got a phone on you. Let me just show you. We got a phone. What is this more information? What's the website? I'm going to have that in my job. So what is it? What is it representing? That's what I'm trying to ask. What is it representing? God. God. Go outside the Bible. Wait, can I ask you? Can I ask you? Can I ask you what this means from your point? Yes. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It says being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Can you read it? Whom God has set forth a propitiation through faith in His brother. Romans 3, 24, 28. Romans 9, 3 and 5. Romans 3 is before 9. Romans 3 is before 9. So what does Romans 3 do? What's Romans 3 do? Romans 3 says, For all have sinned and come short the glory of God, we are justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God has set forth to be a propitiation for what sin. What does what's propitiation mean? Sin is breaking of the law. So who was given that law? God gave it. Yeah, who did He give it to? He gave it to everybody. No, 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 he not, gave it to the Israelites. He didn't give it to everybody. Not, you're wrong, not you know the Ten Commandments. No, there was over 600, so you're wrong. Yeah, not all those commandments, but the Ten Commandments. The Ten was given to who? It says, don't lie. Moses gave them to who? Yeah, the Israelites. Yeah. 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 It says, don't lie. So, so, so if, if, if everybody out there has lied, the law applies to them. No, it doesn't. Because God was only dealing with you. Read, read Revelation 21 and 12. Romans chapter yeah, I know. 3. You're no, going to jump in the future. No, no, you're jumping all over. Stick to Romans. Romans chapter 3. Isaiah 13. What does, what does the Greek word for justified mean? I don't know. I haven't read the Greek word. The Greek word means declared right before God. And it says, right before God. It says, by faith. Okay, read Romans 9 um, 30. No, 3 30. Keep going. No, Romans, Romans 9. Romans 3. Is yes, the way. You've got to stick to the beginning. I'm going. Romans 3. Stick to the beginning. Do we then make void the law by faith? So we're given the law to the Israelites. He said, do we make void, none invalid, the law of faith? God forbid, no, he established the law. The Israelites were given the law to establish. So we only gave the law to the Israelites. Okay, look, what's it say? Should no, we make void the law of faith? faith. God forbid, yes, we established the law. But then, but not, not Context. This, not this. Chapter 4. What's chapter 4 about that? Chapter 4, it says, What shall we say then? Shall Abraham our father pertain to the flesh and found? But if Abraham were justified by works, he had wherein to glory, but not before God. But what saith the scripture? Abraham believed God, and it was accounted unto him for righteousness. Now if you read chapter 4, if you read chapter 4, it's saying there that Abraham was a symbol of faith, 
not only for just the Jewish people, because it was before the Jewish people, it was for all people who would have faith in Christ. Well, you tell me what Romans chapter Just 4 means. Revelations, this will explain everything. It goes ahead of everything. What? Revelations of the Bible. Once you read Revelations, you'll know. 21 and 2. Explain to me Romans chapter well, 4. Why do you read Revelations 21 and 2? No, we stick in the book. Yeah. Yeah. Go and stick to that, then. Yeah. 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 Stick to Romans. Yeah. Yeah. Stick to Romans. Yeah. Yeah. Romans. Yeah. Romans. Yeah. Romans. Yeah. It tells you that the precept will be upon precept. Romans chapter 4. It doesn't say you read one piece of tea and you read another piece of tea. Is it all scripture called breast as well? It's all scripture called Well, you know, we're not, we have to say, we have to find this Romans chapter 5, though. We're going in step, chapter by chapter. It says, therefore being justified by faith. What does that mean? And what is the faith? I'm asking you. The faith is that Christ died for your sins. Everybody needs a faith. Therefore being justified by faith, we have peace with God. What does the word justified by faith mean? Justified when you're all when you have a justification, you have the right. When you are justified, that's the right. The Greek word means you're declared right before God. Yeah. On, account, on account of Christ. Yeah. 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 On account of Christ. And it's by faith. Once you have faith. Once you have faith. Matthew 5, 7. Romans 6. What's Romans 6 about? I know, you're trying to jump all over. Let's stick to the book of Romans. What's Romans 6 about? No, no, I want to look at the whole Bible. But what I want to understand, you quoted, we started and you quoted Romans 9. And all I'm doing, all I'm doing, I'm doing I'll tell you in a minute, all I'm doing is going back and looking at the whole book in context. So I'm trying to get it in context. Here. Do you want to go? Not be right, go. Yeah. Like Here it is, and there it is. You cannot read all of it like that. Let's go to the Bible. How are you saved? You're not saved to the end. No, how are you saved? It says, either endure to the end, same soul shall be saved. Endure to the end. I don't know. I don't know what that's called. Can I just ask you? If I was to join your, your program, how do I get saved? Yeah. So you say by blood? No, Remember when you read in the That's like the covenant. We all the seed of Abraham. It is by blood. The covenant was given to the Israelites by blood. So it's all in the blood. It was not for everybody on the planet. So, it, so I've listened to you. I've listened. So does the, does the implication mean when you're saying that that it came on from the Israelite that anybody who's not an Israelite cannot be saved? Saved from what? Well, just from, from the Bible. Luke 168. Luke 168. Read Luke 168. Oh, no, well, just answer the question. Luke 168. Luke 168. And, and, and you're, what you're doing is... Uh, 
about that. Because you're not reading the scriptures. I, you, quoted, you quoted Romans 9, yeah? And I've had to try and get you to look at the chapter before, and you didn't want to do it. And now you're going all over the place. I'm explaining to you what you're reading that's not correlated with 9. Oh, yeah. Okay. Paul said, do you want to read? Yeah. Okay. Well, ask this question. When are the Jews called Greeks? Were they not in Greece? Let, let, let me read. Were they not in Greece? Where were the Israelites in the states? They were taken to Greece, Rome. So he went to the Israelites. Okay, let me let me explain. Let me let me give it to you. you get let me it. My friend, let me show you. Let me, my friend, let me show you. Are you ready? You're saying it's for the Israelites, yeah? Paul says, "For I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also the Greek." Is that Israel? Oh, now you're jumping again. The Bible says to go from. Now you, yeah, we can do that. But my friend, you quoted John Roman, Romans 9. You quoted Romans 9 at the beginning. And at the beginning of this book, it says to Jew and Gentile. So why are you preaching heresy, bro? It's heresy, bro. It's heresy. Stay in Romans. Stay in Romans. 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 Acts 221. Stay in Romans. John 3.16. I'm explaining to you. Explain this passage here. I'm using the scripture to explain it. We can do that. We know the scripture. No, you don't. Go yes, we do. <laughs> okay, go to it. No, no, because you jump in it, will yeah. you? Yeah. you jump in it, will you? My friend, yeah. my friend, every time you jump all over the place, you never expand the chapter. You just go to the verse. We've expanded a whole book to you. We've gone to the book and expanded it, and we've given you. We've given you the first you chapter. First chapter. Did you not say that? The first chapter. What does that mean in, in what you quoted? What does it mean? Twenty-one and two. No, two and twenty-one. In a minute, I'll go to that. But it says Acts chapter uh, Romans chapter one verse seventeen. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. What does that mean? King James. Which one are you using? Is that Israelites? Is that an Israelite book? The King James? Yes, King James is actually a black man. King James? Yes, yes. Which King James a black man? Do you know what his son was called? Do you know what his son was called? Oh, my friend, I respect you. I respect you. You can't shake your hand, You can't shake my hand. What kind of faith is that? You can't shake my hand if you think King James is a black man. I'm sorry, man. You can't be serious. God bless you. You stay to your faith, whatever, but you need Jesus. Honestly. How can you know Jesus is blessed? Did you know that? My friend, it doesn't matter. The main thing is to believe. Do you believe in Jesus? No, my friend, my friend, my friend, Jesus said this, you must be born again. Why do you believe this? If it doesn't matter, you've got to be born again. John 3.16. Isaiah 45, 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. That whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Well, have you studied the word world in the Gospel of John? Cosmos. My friend, God bless you, buddy. Please think about it. 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 Anyways, you're a lovely guy, yeah? You don't want to shave my hand? And King James is a black man. It's a good one, though. God bless you. <laughs> Alright, check it out. It was an English game. Where'd you get these heresies from, man? The black Israelites, guys. Oh, it's like a nation of Islam, isn't it? Saying that it's all about the black rule, isn't it? Yeah.